Hello friends, my name is Paresh and what you see on your screen is Dynamics Nav. Now we are going to discuss a central concept in Nav called filtering. So let's just go to um, list page. Um, let's take chart of accounts over here and maybe let's drill down, drill down on the amounts over here which will take us to the general ledger entries. Now as you can see that this uh, these entries are already pre-filtered to the particular amount uh, on which we drill down, that is 1110. Um, so if we just clear the filter over here, then all the GL entries um, are available for us. Now this is true to almost all the list pages. You can clear the filter to see all the records. Now maybe you want to analyze this data at certain point of time when there are more than thousand records or whatever so the best way to do that is to apply filters rather than creating some sort of reports so what you can do over here and the thing is that you you can filter on on text on dates on numbers whatever you see on the screen basically and uh, you can also use wildcard characters which provides much more flexibility let's just see an example now over here you can see um, that we have various columns and of course there are other columns to choose from uh, over here and in this case we are seeing advanced filters over here which which is available um, by clicking on shift f3 you can hide it or you can just show it and by default it's taking the first field over here but there are other fields to choose from and basically you can find all the other fields which are available in the table so you can filter on all those fields which are behind the screens as well so let's just say we would like to filter this data where the document type is of type invoice so let's just choose document type over here and say i just want to see all the records of type invoice so once you do that, you can see that, you know, all the records of document type invoice are available. And you can even um, sort this list based on the dates. If you click on over here, so increasing or decreasing, or you can also sort based on a description. So you, can, you just have to click on the column and it will sort by increasing or decreasing. Uh, similarly, um, for example, you know I want to search for all the transactions which start with Toyota so um, let's just remove this filter and say description where it starts with Toyota so if you click on enter you will see that there is no records which is coming up that is because um, there's no description called Toyota it's maybe Toyota something else so we can click we can use a wildcard character called star that means it starts with Toyota and there can be any characters ahead of it so when we enter then you can see that I do find uh, two records over here now similarly um, if we say um, I want to search um, all the records uh, which um, well where the description contains um, upgrade let's say so let's just do it again and um, say upgrade so when I click on enter of course there's nothing so maybe I should use a wildcard character star again there's nothing so it seems that there are some characters which are ahead of upgrade so when I click on star over here again, again there is nothing. The, the reason is that um, the filtering is case sensitive. So to avoid the case, case sensitiveness, what we can do is we can use another wildcard character called at the rate at the very beginning and click on enter and you will see that all the records where the description has the word upgrade, it doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase, those records are shown over here. Similarly, there are many other white cards that you can um, uh, that that you can use. For example, let's just remove this filter and let's just say um, let's just filter on uh, on the amount over here. 
and say, okay, we want all the transactions which are lower than 100. So you will select amount and say less than or equal to 100. And you can see all the amounts over here are less than 100, uh, which are in negatives. And also the ones which are in positive are less than 100 over here. And if we just say um, that we want something greater than or equal to um, 1000. So you can see all the transactions, all the records are displayed where the amount is greater than 1000 over here. Similarly, we can provide a range as well. So um, let's just say uh, we want all the transaction where the amount is between 1000 and 2000. Or let's say between 2000 and 5000. So you can see all the amounts which are between 2000 and 5000 are displayed over here. So you can provide a range uh, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. You can use all those kind of file characters as well. Similarly, you can also filter dates. Um, again, greater than a particular date or uh, less than a particular date or within a date range. So you can do all that. So this is all about filtering um, and sorting as well. So why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself? Thank you.